Good morning, you two. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Pulling some eggs. Another early, early clutch, or super late, depending on how you want to look at it. But this was a, a first time female, so I guess early. Hold on, to it, Gatsby, just one second. Uh, she is a blackhead asphalt bred by the Wookie Pastel. I'm really excited to see Wookie and Blackhead together. Uh, I don't see too much of that, so I, I want to see how this goes. Again, first time female, not super huge, so I'm not expecting a massive clutch, but what I did see earlier, when she was still laying, looked nice and white and, and plump, so I'm hoping that they're Daddy? healthy. What, Caspian? Well, what if we actually had crocodiles? That would be awesome. Well, then you actually told me that. That would be super cool. And they would kill us? Nah. Well, maybe they would kill us. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. She's mad. Good mama. It's okay. He's carrying some little eggs. What's he trying to do? He's trying to keep them safe. It's like a man. Oh All right. Five eggs and they look really good. All right, I'm gonna go bathe her. All right, she's all clean. Um, she's a little stressed, obviously, because we just pulled her out for eggs. This is the only time, typically, that we're gonna bathe ball pythons with soap uh, because we don't want her to continue smelling the eggs even on herself. Um, this way, normally, she goes right back on food and uh, kind of resets her internal clock. So we've got a fresh tub, fresh wrapped chip, fresh water bowl, cleaned everything. Um, and she is good to go. So, all right, I'm gonna candle the eggs real quick. Um, they all look good, but uh, obviously hard to know until I see veins. Oh yeah, where's that embryo at? Just right. It's hard. Sometimes the shells, <laughs> I don't know what the camera is seeing, but there's like circles everywhere on the shell of just different levels of calcification. So it can trick me as to where the embryo is, but I believe it's right there. Well, that's good. Honestly, that was the worst looking egg. So if that one had strong veins and everything, I'm pretty confident. Oh, yeah. Love that. Love it. Been a while, hasn't it? I mean, yeah. we have that clutch maternally incubating, but obviously we didn't yeah. handle those eggs. We haven't pulled and candled eggs in a while. Yeah. Now, I've kind of been moving away from uh, separating the egg piles and all that, but these are so barely hanging on to each other, I figured I'd just pull them apart. Yeah, right these, there? yeah I believe so. I'm just kind of watching the... I've always wondered if you could like tell during this part if there's twins. If you yeah. could like see two embryos, because you definitely are looking for an embryo, you know? Yeah, I hadn't thought of it. She must have just finished because these are not very stuck together. Still pretty rubbery. Alright, veins. There we go, right there. Last one. Oh yeah, five very strong, healthy looking eggs. They're not the biggest eggs ever. But she's not the biggest female ever. She has done it. <clears throat> so the egg box, just because it's been a while, I might have a few new viewers. I use a little Sterilite tub. Um, nothing but perlite in the bottom. Fill it with warm water. And then we have this light diffuser panel that we use to separate the eggs from the perlite so that the wetness isn't actually touching the eggshell. I have tiny, tiny holes, just one in each side, like 16th of an inch or less. And I stick them in the incubator at 89 degrees. And uh, it's always done spectacularly for us with healthy, good eggs. Like, you know, we see good veins, good embryo and all that. I think 
we have like a hundred percent success rate in incubation. We have lost really weak eggs before that barely had any veins. Um, I think once or twice we've had an egg get a hole in it when I was separating eggs, which is one reason I tend to not do that anymore. And I think one of those we ended up losing, although usually we've been able to just put a band-aid on it and they've actually hatched. But one of those we lost. But as far as like good eggs that are perfectly fertile and strong, we really don't lose any babies. Um, and now, you know, maybe knock on wood, this will be our year where a bunch of good eggs go bad. But uh, this method has worked for us. And I'm just looking for my press and seal so the moisture doesn't escape from the top. And that is that. Uh, hopefully we'll be back here in two months to give you an update on beautiful babies hatching. Again, kind of a cool, I hope unique combo here. I don't, I really don't see a lot of people putting Blackhead and Wookie together. And with Asphalt and Pastel also in the mix, we could have a diverse clutch, which is my personal favorite. When the babies come out and you just have all these different combos and genes represented, you know, there's only five eggs here. But uh, anyways, that is all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.